Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Let's talk about sugar. We've talked about air, we've talked about fat, we've talked about protein, and now we're talking about sugar, which is one of the five staples of ice cream creation. That means you can't make ice cream without it. But you will find sugar-free ice cream in store. That either means that they're lying or miracle of science has happened where they have loaded it with chemicals to act like they're sugar with no sugar is like just as bad, if not worse, than having actual sugar. I had to put my hair up because I'm looking nasty. Anyway, you need sugar in ice cream because it's the main reason that ice cream forms into ice cream. Not only does it add body to your ice cream, but it also prevents the water from freezing, which sounds weird. Stay with me here. Basic white sugar, so the stuff you use in like coffee, regular baking, is called sucrose. Sucrose is part of a family called saccharides. There's monosaccharides that have one sugar molecule. There's disaccharides that have to sucrose, your white sugar, and lactose, sugar you find in milk, are both disaccharides, two sugar molecules. Those disaccharides are made up of different combinations of monosaccharides, like glucose, fructose, and galactose. Kinda like primary and secondary colors. Blue and yellow make green, blue and red can make purple. You can't just add or subtract sugar in a recipe if you want things to be more or less sweet. That's gonna really screw with things. That's because when you add sugar to your recipe, your sugar bonds with water molecules and lowers their freezing point. So that means some water molecules get to just stay free flowing like water and some then turn into ice crystals which will then help build your ice cream. If all of your water turned into ice crystals, you would have an ice cube. You need that sugar in there to hold hands with little water molecules so that they don't freeze completely and they can make our ice cream actually scoopable and soft and not a block of ice. That said, Having too much sugar is probably the number one reason why half of your at-home ice cream recipe creations do not work and they don't churn. Too much sugar means too much water is not being frozen and then you just have a soupy mess. Life is all about balance, so is ice cream. So what have we learned today? Don't eat the nasty sugar-free shit at the grocery store. Sugar is important and crucial to ice cream making. Sugar holds on to some of your water in your ice cream so that it doesn't turn into a block of ice and remains at a nice scoopable texture once it's frozen. All in all, don't mess with the sugar and I'll see you next Sunday. Science!